Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to Metroid Prime Remastered with Robberlink. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> Alright, where we last left off, we found the Space Pirate Base here on Town 4 in the Fendrana Drifts region. And yeah, we, uh, we went through all of their information here in this room, and we figured out that they brought Metroids, and they're using Phazon on them. And uh, that could be terrible because we saw what happened when they, when they put par uh, yeah, when they put Phazon into those tiny little parasite things, and they became that massive parasite, parasite queen. Yeah, that was bad enough. Now imagine Metroids. Okay, I don't know if there's. Assuming you know what Metroids are. Uh, given that it's the name of the game, we would hope you do. But if not, that's okay. Wait, you mean we aren't playing as Metroid Man? <laughs> I thought that was his name. And we don't play as Zelda? Uh. Uh. Alright, I wasn't sure if there was like a, a scan to turn these off, but there doesn't appear to be one in my sight at the moment, so I might as well just destroy these. Oh, that's right. When you when you destroy them with the wave beam, they go haywire because it's electrical, rather than just blowing up. They go haywire and then blow up. Yeah, I thought you noticed that in the last episode. Some of them did that. Yeah, I had forgotten that it, it did that. I think it's an interesting detail. Mm -hmm. Especially since it was in the original. Oh, hi. Hello. It's like, I'm sorry, do I not have authorization for this place? Too bad. <laughs> if you want, you can scan me, and then you have to let me in, right? <laughs> it's your rules. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think your limb is clipping through the platform, sir. Sir? That's right, you're dead. Never mind. Continue on. My mistake. Whee! <laughs> I do like that. The missiles just make them go flying. <laughs> For some reason, I'm just remembering, um... Defender. Uh, there was one mission where we're, we were going through, like, an ice canyon. Oh, yeah, and the... And the dropship we were escorting just started like moving side to side and like super erratically yeah it went back and forth and it would not continue on its objective <laughs> like it was supposed to <laughs> uh upper node of astronomical holographic projector is retracted and inactive many much big word <laughs> not active lower node of astronomical holographic projector currently deactivated Upper node of astronomical holographic projector. Take a guess. <laughs> Say it. Deact currently deactivated. <laughs> it's a good scan system. Have a cookie. <laughs> Nom. Burp. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> holographic spatial. Sorry. Holodra. Holodraf. <laughs> Holo giraffe. <laughs> Holographic spatial schematic is in lockdown per security directive. Log. Scans of the spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a wonder class planet identified as Talon 4. Scout reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a landmass at heading Mark 48-2. Returning with planetary samples and atmospheric imaging. Analysis shows the energy source to be an unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time, but we are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful again. Analysis will continue, but currently, Talon 4 appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Hmm. Uh, will your voice be okay, Robert Link? No. <laughs> <laughs> I... Probably should have brought a water polo with me. Yeah. It, it did say, though, Spiral Sector. Is that... So it's not like the, the Talon Galaxy or whatever? Solar System? I don't know. Spiral Sector. I don't remember it saying No, that. it's a reference to Gurren Lagann. <laughs> <laughs> I was just now thinking also to Perimeter. You need to charge the spiral or whatever. Oh, yeah. Man, what is up with video games or 
Well, Gurren Lagann isn't a video game. God dang it. What is it with sci-fi and... Spirals. Know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get at. Thank you. <laughs> Log. Days on mining is underway. Several garrisons have been established and terraforming of the Chozo ruins is underway. Security systems are operational and science team continues to make pro progress in their biotech research. The Fandrana Drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon it will be joined by a fully operational combat base and starport. If command's predictions are half true, we shall rise to dominance within in this sector within a deca cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. Hmm. You know, it is a nice place for headquarters. My headquarters? I'll take it. Thank you for building it for me. It's mine now. Holographic map coordinate data has been updated successfully. I don't see an update. <laughs> Alright, none of that scannable? Hmm. Can I break it? Huh. I thought usually the dark ones maybe would be breakable, but I guess not. Hmm. Okay, enough wasting missiles. Uh, what did I need to do? Did I need to just... Probably spin those up? Yeah, are they active? No, it's not letting me in them. Alright. Oh, oh, this thing. That's right. <laughs> I was like, scan all the lore, and then forgot to scan the one thing that isn't the lore. Holographic sequence initiated. That's not a hologram. <laughs> I've been lied to. <laughs> Let's blow it up. It's like, okay. Now do it again. <laughs> but over there. Yeah. <laughs> if I must. Uh, so I guess I go around this way. It's interesting that the space pirates can maneuver this because they can apparently jump pretty high. Hmm. And yet they still conveniently build walkways and whatnot. Seems like they build them half-heartedly <laughs> to the point that I still need double jump. All right. You a new scan now? Okay, it's functioning normally. Yep. That one's deactivated, though. Whoops. Wrong one. <laughs> Not a bomb. Spin. To win. There we go. Oh yeah, another thing I, I mentioned uh, before the previous episode off screen, but um, the map system in Metroid Prime 3 you could highlight the map uh, rooms. So basically, if you knew you had collected everything in a room, you could like press A on it or whatever, it would turn green. Oh, that. Yeah, and that way you could keep track of where you know you found everything. But it doesn't seem like they put that in this, hmm. which I was surprised about. You know, I was confused as to what he was talking about. But but once you mentioned it turned the rooms green on the map, I was like, oh, now I remember. Yeah. There we go. All right, and uh, I guess this is not the end of the lore yet. There is still more. Planet Zebus. Mass, 4.8 trillion teratons. Profile. Planet's crust is primarily earthic ore, making it ideal for subterranean construction. Not to be confused with Earthic, as in Earth? I don't know. Class... 19? Yeah, thank you. A class 19 planet, Zebus is inhospitable to most bioforms. The base was considered unremarkable until it became a, a base for space pirate forces. A space base? Eh. So yeah, that is where... I'm trying to think... I think the first Metroid took place there, but then didn't also Super Metroid, or was that not? I don't actually know anymore. <laughs> I feel kind of stupid. Were they both on Zebus? Maybe. Hmm. Planet Twin Tabula. Mass, 4.1 trillion teratons. Planet is best known for Twin Fever, a disease caused by a viral strain native to Twin Tabula. 
In the early stages of the disease, victims suffer from double vision. When the twin sight fades, the victim is near death. <laughs> okay. It's not when you maybe also, uh, you know, your immune system has maybe fought it off or anything? Nope. <laughs> if you've stopped being sick, you're dead. <laughs> Planet Urmine 2. Mass 2.3 trillion teratons. An uninhabited habitable wasteland savaged by nuclear dust storms and constant seismic upheavals. I am going on coffee break. <laughs> I will have someone else take over voicing these. Would you like me to? No, I'm just saying that as an excuse to <laughs> probably use a different voice. <clears throat> Planet Talon 4. Mass 5.1 trillion teratons. Ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to exposure to phazon radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren class 13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. Hmm. Like, how long ago did this game come out? Has it been about 25 years? <laughs> is it a barren wasteland now? All right. Uh, wait, that one? Yeah. Yeah. Planet Billium. Mass. One billium. <laughs> Quarantine. Atmosphere is rife with Mitteralis. Mitteralis. A sentient gaseous global exterminator virus. Hmm. A sentient gaseous virus. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, gas just sounds different than airborne. So, I don't know. Odd. <laughs> well, like, well, I guess if would, there's enough of it to form a cloud. It's like, oh, uh, would you like to elaborate? No. Okay, then. And then, does the sun have a scan? It doesn't look like it does. No one cares about the sun. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, I guess I'll just <laughs> go away then. And then everything starts dying. It's like, no, no, come back, please. <laughs> oh, God. We need the sun. This is why you respect your supports. <laughs> Never thought of the sun as a support, but here we are. Don't you know the sun is, like, totally meta? <laughs> it's like overpowered, dude. Uh... I'm pretty sure I scanned pretty much everything right, so... Can you just keep going up? Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could make that jump. That's why I was hesitating. Again, I don't know my limits. Whoops. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> trying again. It's like, the sky's the limit. Or my sense of balance. One of the two. As I hit my head. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got that one. <sighs> there. Okay, we're good. Let me through. Um, more lore. <laughs> All hollow technicians report to main observatory. Maintenance required on both hollow modules. I fixed it. <laughs> Do I get paid? <laughs> Chief Af Astrogation Officer feels our current dual holoprojector system is obsolete. Please review and advise. Yep, it's obsolete. It doesn't have a scan for the sun. <clears throat> wait, what? Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, that was just the safe station. It's like, wait, why is that blank piece of wall have a scan? <laughs> uh, is it bad that I actually feel a bit of pressure in my chest? Like, does it hurt because you've been talking? Not really hurt, but it does feel a bit strained. Oh, right. That's probably a thing we came for. Yep. Super missile. Yeah, that makes sense. Why Why wouldn't you have a super missile lying around in a hollow projector? <laughs> it, <laughs> we've learned to use uh, super missile ammunition as a power source. <laughs> it's a bit explosive, but effective. <laughs> Just no one bump into the thing too hard. <laughs> Super missile acquired. This powerful attack uses five missiles. Alrighty. 
I guess I don't need it immediately, though. Although, if I were to backtrack to that one room, I think I could use it, so I might... Well, then I'll have to climb this room again. Gah! Whatever. I want it. Ouch. You could just go to the end of the base and come back out. Unless the base actually leads somewhere, so... Hmm. Uh, I just want to get to... That one thing that I think is in here. Oh, the column? Oh, hello. <laughs> well, he didn't seem to notice. Bye. It's like, ah, it's probably just a turret acting up again. <laughs> <laughs> that suggests that at some point he just... Uh, you know, stood there watching the turret attack an ally and just didn't care. <laughs> it's like, ah, it's just happening again, isn't it? <laughs> like, I'll just take Larry to the hospital once it's done. <laughs> Alright, so this thing. I believe I can destroy. <laughs> that pirate okay? <laughs> I'm just watching that pirate off the corner of the screen. He is not okay. Anyway. Oh, now there's one in the... up to the upper right now. Or, oh, no, that's... Uh, Oh, he's hanging. He's just waiting for me. For, oh, okay. Hello. Oh, I thought it was like the security drone that blurred the pirates earlier. <laughs> all right. That's all I wanted from that. Uh, can I just leave? Ah, uh, but that's closed and I need the wave beam for it. Fine. I'll fight you. Give me one sec. I need cover. Oh, my cover. If only you'd have a wave bomb. <laughs> that would be an interesting thing. <laughs> if beam weapons were incorporated into the bomb somehow. Yeah, I just don't know if it would <laughs> be that useful. And if it's going to be an upgrade, it's probably got to be tied to some sort of puzzle mechanic. True. I mean, the only thing I could think of is if they then had like tunnels where there is uh, like a wave beam door in the middle of the tunnel so you couldn't reach it from the outside without it. Hmm. I just think it'd be interesting to see what you could do with it. Like, <laughs> maybe it, with the wave bomb is like three smaller bomblets. Kind of like the wave beam shoots three projectiles. Yeah. I remember one idea I had a while back was if you could get, uh, in addition to the different beam weapons, different... I guess you could call them, like, nozzles on the tip that would cause it to fire in a different manner. Like, you know how the... Well, like, maybe with one different tip, it could make everything more like a spread shot. Hmm. And one could make it, like, a more focused beam. And so that you could have that type of weapon for every element. Hmm. But then again, what, what would it serve in terms of puzzle use? Not everything has to be puzzle use, but... Eh. Well, that's kind of how the game works. Otherwise, you know. Because there has to be, like, an order where you have to get one upgrade to continue progressing. Usually. With a few exceptions, but those are usually late game. Was there anything on the wall to your left before you entered the elevator? Uh, I could try checking. And going back down. I'm like, wait, I forgot my keys. So, something around here? Yeah. Okay, no, it's just a couple metal box things. Okay. You fool, you have wasted everyone's time. You must no. die now. It's like, wait. Points gun at screen. <laughs> <laughs> just cuts to a 3D view of Sam's pointing her gun at herself. <laughs> this might not be the most uh, <laughs> pertinent use. Also, do be a bit careful. Oh, yeah. Your health is a bit on the lower end. All right. It is a little annoying using these controls, but I like the way it looks. To be able to do that and whatnot. I keep forgetting that the wave beam charge homes in. It, it homes in even if you don't charge. Yeah, but I just never seem to remember the charged version doing it. Hmm. You are new. Hello. Fly boys sighted. <laughs> Flying pirate. Pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. Flying pirates are extremely agile in the air. 
but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. With... no wait. While their missiles are extremely potent, their jetpacks can be even more so. If the pack fails, they will make a suicide strike. Yeah, I don't know if Wave Demon is actually particularly good against them or not, or if that's what causes their pack to fail in such a way that they can attack me like that. I mean, you could try shooting or killing them with the power beam. Yeah, I suppose I could. If I can hit them, yeah. Nope, still did it. Hmm. Uh, pirate noise is still playing, or music. Yep, there's more. Alright, well, eat this. There we go. <laughs> now you won't come crashing down after me. Is that a super missile? Yeah, that I used against him. Okay, I'm not I, sure. I kind of expect an explosion from a super missile, but alright. Huh, the other one I killed with just a regular missile looked like he just kind of plopped on the floor. <laughs> so it was hard to tell. Was he trying to strike me? Or did he just, uh, <laughs> fall down? Not sure. Well, can I not destroy that at all? Hmm. That seems weird to have only one crate that is indestructible. Alright, there we go. Or any of the pirates are destroying them. Hmm. Well, I think they're pirate-owned crates, right? Yeah. Oh, can you break that one up there? To the right? Doesn't seem like it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's just... <laughs> requires the charge beam, I guess. Sure, that checks out. Too weak on its own. Alright. Come on. There we go. It seems like it was not doing what I wanted it to for a sec there. So, uh, things seem to be going good. You haven't had to reset the... Right. You have a button to do it. Yeah. I was going to say, you haven't been pausing to reset the um, targeting crosshair. Yeah, I've just been pressing the R button to do that now that I know I can. And Robert Link forgot. <laughs> and more lore. As your punishment, you must now speak. <laughs> Phase on Infusion, Stage 6. Subject Metroid BR5497. Oh joy. Subject's mass at 180% of previous phase on cycle, increasing dosage by 4%. So are they have they actually learned to increase the dosage slightly to not kill their subjects? Stasis tank B118? I think so. Hmm. Or maybe it's 8118. One of the two. That stasis tank over there is contaminated beyond acceptable safety standards. Removal squad requested. I can remove it. Samus is just here offering her help for everything. Metroid brain scan results in. Test negative. <laughs> Studies show accelerated activity in parietal lobe during hunting cycles at temperatures above 10 degrees centigrade. Oh. That's not where I was standing. There it is. Hey, thought you saw the last of me, huh? <laughs> Would you mind opening this up for a sec? I want to grab a snack. Fine, I'll scan you first. <laughs> Talon Metroid, energy-based parasitic predator. The effects of Phazon have turned these Metroids, a species of alpha pre predator native to SR388, into a unique subspecies found only on Talon 4. A Talon Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake an attached Talon Metroid is to enter morph ball mode and lay a bomb. Oh, All right, I'll break myself out. <laughs> like jokes on you, you're the snack. Yeah. Screw you, I'm free. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? Screw you. Ow. Metroid successfully screwed off. 
Oh, hello. Did you let Jerry out of his cage? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there were a few more scans. If you yeah, want. I was just looking up. Like, did you misplace this space pirate? <laughs> Log. Initial transfer of Metroids to Talon 4 research facilities has been completed. Three were terminated in an incident at the landing site, but the others were pacified and transported safely. Initial phase-on infusion testing is underway. Underway. Yeah. We are eager to observe the effects of phase-on on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by phase-on sources. Early research suggests a considerable growth in power and size. Whether the creatures stay stable thereafter remains to be seen. Alright, and then one or two more things here. Containment temperature stable at 3 degrees centigrade. Environmental diagnostics satisfactory. Interesting how they tend to use cycles, whatever those are for time, but but for temperature they use a uh, human centigrade. <laughs> yeah, usually... I'm trying to think in, at least in Star Trek, they usually use Kelvin because that's like uh, an absolute scale that goes from absolute zero. True. But why does a scan visor compensate for, like, is a scan visor compensating and translating the temperatures? It could But be. not the time? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Internal organs of Metroid seem to be limited to nucleonic absorption cells and massive energy reservoirs. That doesn't sound like it includes a brain. Hmm. <laughs> hence, hmm. Hence, none detected. All right. I wonder if a biologist can actually make sense of any of this. <laughs> any, Log. Any biologists watching? <laughs> the reconstruction of Geoform 187, codenamed Ridley, oh boy, was recently completed. After his defeat on Zebus, Command ordered a number of metagenetic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We call our creation... No, wait. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley will become the mainstay of our security force. A job he will certainly relish. Imagine Meta Ridley showing up in just a security guard uniform. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm here. His form of punching in would just be literally punching the <laughs> the recording thing and destroying it because he's frustrated. He doesn't <laughs> want to deal with it. Metroid containment fields appear 100% effective as after adjustments. Temperature Temperatures below 10 degrees centigrade will render Metroids docile. Docile, yeah. whatever. Yeah, maybe the reason it's saying cycles is because it's a relative term based on whatever planet we're on. Mm, that could be. The hooked mandibles of the Metroid penetrate the skin of its prey and siphon pure life force energy. I don't know why this hasn't disappeared, but okay, I'll take it. It's like, fine then. If you really want to be taken that badly. Alright, I think that's everything there. But there's still more. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll give you a break by killing everything in here first. Thank you. Uh, if I could lock on. And if I could hit them. Where what? are you going? <laughs> If it would follow physics. Nah, that'd be too convenient. <laughs> Alright. I see you there. There we go. And then there's one shooting me from over there. Or two. Alright, where are you at? There you are. Alright, I'm not sure if there was a turret down there or not, but... Oh well. I hope you're ready for more speaking. <laughs> As energy-based creatures, Metroids show immediate mass increases upon energy absorption. Recording to the model. 
Log. Confidence is high regarding Phazon applications. We know enough about Phazon now to begin combining it with Space Pirate DNA. The code for this venture will be Project Helix. Preliminary studies indicate that Phazon infusion could produce radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Phazon madness is a concern, but refinements in the infusion process should reduce or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. Okay, so morphing Metroids wasn't the, the, the final goal for them either. <laughs> They've now decided to morph themselves. Eh, who cares about a little loss of sanity? Oh yeah, I was going to say when they said it'll be painful, you know, the meta Ridley thing, but that's that's the sacrifice we're willing to make. I wonder who this high command is anyway. Hmm. Like, is there a council or is there a pirate space pirate king or? Yeah, if it's not Ridley, then who? <laughs> is it Kraid? <laughs> I don't know why. I thought you were going to say Kirby for a moment. <laughs> I have no clue why. <laughs> Kirby, Lord of the Space Pirates. <laughs> it all makes sense. Samus has never been able to catch him on his dreaded warp star. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all guards must use ice containment gear when transporting Metroids. This includes sedated specimens and those pronounced dead. Oh, I remember when we scanned this. It's like, in case they are not dead. <laughs> I don't. I'll take your word for it. Directive. In the event of a Metroid attack, repel creature with missiles set to maximum concussion. Wait, there's a setting on my missiles? No one told me this. <laughs> you mean I've been wasting them at, like, the default setting? <laughs> you max concussion, please. Oop, something... Oh, it's these. I thought it was, like, part of the pillar. Nope, apparently not. Hunter Metroid DS is showing signs of increased instability and a heightened immunity to cold damping fields. Yeah, I believe it's the Hunter Metroid that are those ones with the long tentacles at the bottom. Mmm. Okay. Motion near Hunter Metroid... I'm sorry. <laughs> Motion near Hunter Metroid, DG, appears to trigger psychotic episodes. In the Metroid or in the people? <laughs> Personnel are to stay at least three meters away from Stasis Tank. But like I said, if you need me to take over for the last few scans or whatever, if it is getting too tiring, just let me know. All right. Is that a yes or no? <laughs> Uh, I'll let you know. Empty stasis tank used for biological specimens. Latent radiation readings indicate extreme radioactive contamination. All right. Anything else? I could activate you for later. Oh, that's oh. not what I thought I was scanning. <laughs> Screw you. You're scanning this. East quarantine cave has been secured. Specimen remains in the quarantine area. All experiments suspended pending pacification. Metroids infused with Phazon strain Vertigo are thriving. We feel they could be class 1 energy harvesters if proper submission measures are employed. So, is that something they figured out? How to tame Metroids? Who knows? <laughs> it sounds like it's harder to tame them after Phazon infusion. They get more erratic and whatever. Hmm. It's quite the challenge, it sounds like. Oh, well. <laughs> Quarantine specimen exhibits highly aggressive behavior. Its body structure, composed of Phazon ore, appears nearly invulnerable. This has rendered our efforts to train and discipline subject useless. My point exactly. <laughs> How is it working with the Metroids? <laughs> Or is it just a plan that they haven't figured out yet? Log. Metroid dissection continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripartite nucleus. But the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluids, and yet the Metroid extracts energy. 
Identifying this energy is our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We will continue to research this matter, as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. Hmm. Project Titan is suspended indefinitely. Security breaches resulting in massive casualties have occurred. Access is strictly prohibited until further notice. Okay. So it seems like they're having problem with whatever this Titan one is. To the point that they've just kind of locked it away and given up. It's like, oh, you stay there. Stop it's a, killing our people. It's amazing that they have anyone left to fight Samus. Yeah. Between the Metroids, the experiments, the Predators. I guess that's why they need to just keep bringing more people. Log. Studies of Metroid biology continue, though with limited progress. It seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for our means, rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, we would have no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small force of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies, and once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could then harvest the energy they'd consumed, we, could, we would have a near limitless source of power at our disposal. Ah, if only. The dreams of the space pirates may never be realized. All right, who put this energy tank in cold storage? <laughs> like, ew, I think there's a body in this energy tank of some creature. Let me dump that out. <laughs> it's like, okay, good as new. All right, I think that might be everything, and it is... Was the central thing scannable? Oh, right you are. Sorry. Okay. This tank holds the remains of Experiment 7526, conversion of Elite Pirate unsuccessful oh boy that's a big one yeah i'm trying to see what that is that looks is that an, a hand yeah it looks like a limb of some sort but based on its size how could anything beyond its limb even fit in there i don't know all right well hopefully that was everything because I think it's about time to end the episode, so I might need to head back to the previous save point. And I think we'll have to end it here. And we'll continue this next time. So goodbye for now. <laughs> Sorry about your uh, your voice, Robert Link. Uh, Hopefully it will recover. Hopefully. Goodbye. Goodbye.